be happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday. It is hump day. Hopefully, if you work throughout the week and get the weekends off, it is two more days. Unless you're me. The reason why I say unless you're me, because I am taking Thursday and Friday off. I have to go take care of some personal things tomorrow. And I'm just taking Friday off of work because I just need a break. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't working with me to take a week off during the summer so I could build a shed. Unfortunately, that just did not happen. Unfortunately. But we got to talk about the invasion that's happened on the southern border. Some people won't call it an invasion. Some people will call it an invasion. Some people will call it a crisis. Some people say it's part of the plan. Either way, there's issues. There's issues. And I don't know what the answer is. Let's go ahead and start with this. More buses of solemn seekers arrive at the Port Authority. New York asks feds for crisis help, which they will get because they're Democrats. On July 19th, New York Mayor Adam accuses Governor Abbott of playing of not playing, but out of shipping asylum seekers to New York. Let me rephrase that. Accuses Texas Governor Abbott of shipping illegal immigrants, criminals, to New York City. On August 5th, Abbott said that he will start doing just that. New York says its shelter system is buckling under the influx of illegal Aliens seeking asylum sent from the border states through critics that said the shelter program's problem is more complex. After a war of words between Texas and New York officials, Texas Governor Greg Abbott said on August 5th, his state would start busing illegals here directly in New York. The first bus arrived that morning. More have arrived. New York City's right to shelter law obligates the city to care for the illegals, even though many are being sent to the city with enormous paperwork that sent them to the wrong location. I don't care. I don't care. You say that you want to be a sanctuary city, Mr. Mayor Adams. Guess what? You're going to be a sanctuary city. Two of what were expected to be at least three bus carrying more than 100 asylum seekers from Texas arrived at the Port Authority bus terminal Wednesday. By the way, this is from uh, NBCNewYork.com. Texas arrived at the Port Authority bus terminal Wednesday, further pressuring the city's social safety net amid an escalating battle between New York and Texas over the crisis. Is it a crisis because it's happening in New York City? Was it not a crisis of the invasions that we're seeing on a daily basis at the border? Is that not a crisis? Or is it just a crisis because it's happening in your backyard? I'm very frustrated if you haven't noticed. The buses, one white, one black, pulled into the bus from around, around 7.45 a.m., near 41st Street and 8th Avenue, the same location where the bus arrived from Texas Sunday with illegals, Mayor Eric Adam claims. Texas Governor Abbott never told New York City that they were coming. Who cares? You said that you were a sanctuary city. Deal with it. New York officials said Texas didn't coordinate the arrivals with Wednesday either, but this time New York City was prepared to offer medical evaluations, and other services upon arrival. New York Immigration Affairs Commission Manuel Castro said it wasn't immediately clear how many illegals were on the first two buses or whether the other was still expected to arrive. I don't think they're asylum seekers. Because there's a process. There's a legal process of doing that. And if you have over thousands of people claiming to be asylum seekers, Maybe, maybe small percentage of them are actually asylum seekers. Most of them are illegal immigrants coming from 
third world countries. Now I'll admit, the United States hasn't always done the best work when it comes to the Latin America and South America regions. Some would argue that we're partially to blame for the turmoil that they're seeing. But we are a country with borders and we should be able to protect our borders and not just let anybody in. I know that there's people that believe in open borders that will disagree with me. Some will call me cold hearted because I just want to not let everybody in. But I don't care about those people. Developments come amid an ongoing battle between Adams, a Democrat, Abbott, a Republican, that's played out publicly since July 19th when the mayor first accused the governor of dumping migrants in the city. Where's your complaint when Joe Biden on the federal level was shipping migrants to your city or to your state? Why does Joe Biden get a pass? Oh, because he's a Democrat is the only thing I'm guessing. Abbott denied at the time, but reversed course on Friday that said Texas would now bus asylum seekers straight here or illegals. It's horrific when you think about what the governor's doing. The governor of Texas, Adams, said in the news conference at the Port Authority, the bus terminal that coincides with the arrival of another bus from a border from a border state. You get to feel our pain. You get to feel the frustration of being a border state. Now you can see where we're coming from. You probably won't change your tune. You'll probably be party line and call this racist because you're a Democrat because you like to use the term racist. I don't know. It's, it's, it's frustrating because we're being overwhelmed. Our resources here in Texas are being overwhelmed. City Cities on the borders are way past overwhelmed. But yet you want to slam my governor trying to share the pain that we're experiencing. So basically, it's okay when it's not in your backyard, Mr. Adams. I guess it's fine that we're struggling on the border, not just Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, California. Those border towns are struggling. But it's okay if, they, if we and other border states struggle, as long as it's not in your state. That is the vibe I'm reading. And it's frustrating. The mayor said that some of the families on the bus did not intend to come to New York, were effectively misled into getting on the buses to the city. Well, guess what? They chose to come to America. They crossed our border illegally, and they are now in America, regardless if it's a, in Texas, Wyoming, Idaho, Nebraska, New York, or D.C. They wanted to come to America they're now in America, in your town. Deal with it. We didn't ask for them. You didn't ask for them. And now you got to deal with the consequences. We're finding out that some of the families on the bus that want to go to other, other locations, and they were not allowed to do so. They were forced on the bus with the understanding that they were going to other locations that they wanted to go. And when they tried to explain that they were not allowed to do so, the mayor said, my understanding is uh, Abbott responded to this, saying that they filled out a form that's in multiple languages, telling them the location that this bus was heading to. They signed their name. So someone's lying. Who's lying? I'm pretty sure both of them are lying. He's now soliciting federal assistance with the influx. Officials said that Texas provided no information about Wednesday buses. We never got notification when they were coming. They just came. They arrived on our back door and we're stuck with them because Joe Biden's administration failed to close the border. Harris with her, do not come, do not come, do not come, didn't stop them from coming. Their policies is inviting them and we're just letting them in instead of keeping them in Mexico, making Mexico deal with it. Because it really is Mexico's issue. Because they're allowing them to go to our border. January. So here's a timeline. 
January 2019, Trump administration launches a policy referred to Remain in Mexico, which asylum seekers had to wait in Mexico for a hearing with the U.S. Immigration Court. January 2021, President Biden suspends Remain in Mexico program, formerly known as the Migrant Protection Protocol, on his first day of office, an estimated 70,000 migrants have been subject to this policy. December 21st. I'm a little... I'm a little confused here. It kind of goes from January to December. It doesn't really matter. Federal court orders remains remain in Mexico reinstated on December 21st. Wait, nope, nope, that nope, makes sense. I'm just not, not reading properly. May 2022, Custom and Border Protection reports almost 241 Southwest land border encounters with migrants for the month of May, the highest single month in nearly four years. We're about a couple hundred million people in the United States. This is a small town. This is a army of people. If you want to talk about invasions, now they may not be having weapons. They may not be violently trying to cross the border. But 241,000 people is an army. It is a large army. It's about a couple of battalions worth of people. June 20. June 2020, uh, June 2022, can't speak. The Supreme Court ruled 5-4 to four that Biden administration had the right to end remain in Mexico policy between December 2021 and June 2022. An estimated 500 and 800 migrants were subject to reinstate the policy. While I disagree with the outcome of this ruling, I agree with the principle of the ruling. Because I think remaining in Mexico was working. June 19, 2022, New York Mayor Eric Adams releases a letter claiming that the city shelter system is buckling aim at the influx of migrants from Texas and Arizona. The governors of those states deny that they are sending people to the city, but yet you didn't complain when Joe Biden was doing it when he was in the middle of the night taking immigrants and flying them to other states. Apparently, it's not an issue when a Democrat does it. Adam acknowledges in a few cases where people were entitled to shelter were not placed as quickly as the law requires. June 28, 2022, the Commission of New York City Department of Social Services said that the city had no idea that Migrants were being bused here by federal authorities with an inaccurate paperwork that they sent with them to the wrong address for the shelter. Wait, you just admitted that federal authorities were bused here by federal authorities? So is it Joe Biden you're pissed off? Or the few under 100 people that Governor Abbott and the governor of Arizona shipped? Adam issued an emergency declaration that let the city speed up the process of issuing contracts with new shelters and service providers. That's August 1st. August 4th, 2022, Immigration and Custom Enforcement ICE said it's investigating at least one case where the migrant was sent to New York with paperwork listing a bogus address and a phone number and apparently hand-drawn rude emoji in place of an officer signature. Maybe, maybe not. I don't care. Texas Governor Abbott says that his state will start busing migrants directly to New York City, which has a right to shelter law that requires the city to care for those. Asylum seekers, Adam Sikmistically said, it appears that some of those migrants are being sent to New York City unwillingly. He also stated that for the sake of America, Governor Abbott needs to be removed from office. He needs to be elected out of office to save of America. He threatened to send buses to Texas 
to campaign for Beto Nacho Governor of Texas. Adam also criticized Texas for failing to provide any coordination information to New York City, like when buses were coming, how many people were on them, and where they intended to go. The mayor said that the city heard, has heard rumors that some people are getting off the buses early, potentially taking themselves to find their way around New York City. On Sunday, about 14 people were on buses that came in, less than half what the city was expecting. Holy crap, this is a uh, long video. Not a long video, but yeah, probably a long video. Long article. But let's see what this one says. It's Adam Shaw. I don't know who they are. I don't know where it's from. Oh, it's from Fox News. Gotcha. That's the thing you got to worry about. Got to keep in mind with New York, not New York, but Yahoo News, they take news articles, embed them into their site. So this is going to be very uh, right wing, very right wing bias. I am a anti illegal immigration bias person because I'm against it. Texas Governor Abbott campaign on Tuesday shot back at New York City Mayor Eric after his owner threatened to send busloads of New Yorkers to Texas to campaign against Abbott on the oncoming Goober national election to, in retaliation of Texas sending busloads of migrants to the Big Apple. Honestly, I don't really agree with Abbott doing what he's doing, but his hands are tied. I don't want taxpayer money being used to send illegal immigrations into the country. So I I don't necessarily agree with Abbott's approach, but his hands are tied because it's the only card he has left. I recall this going to um, Adams. I've already called all my friends in Texas and told them how to cast their vote. Sorry, you don't get to tell me what who to vote for. I'm pretty sure they were going to vote for Beto anyways. If they're your if they're your friend, I'm deeply contemplating taking a busload of New Yorkers to go to Texas and do some good old fashioned door knocking because the good of America, we got to get them out of office for the good of America. Heard that one before. Adam said Tuesday during the press conference, Adam comments, Mark the latest spat between the liberal cities of Washington, D.C., New York City and Conservative border states of Arizona and Texas, governors of states have enraged the liberal mayors by sending thousands of migrants to their cities, which the mayors have said put a strain on their social systems. Abbott campaign responded with the comments Tuesday. Because of high taxes and out of control crime, poor leadership in, by the mayor, people are voluntarily leaving New York City without the mayor asking Campaign spokesperson Mark Minier told Fox News Digital it took like Mayor Adams has taken an additional role of political director for Democrat candidate Beto O'Rourke. The clash comes hours before three more buses arrived in New York City on Wednesday morning. The movement, yada, 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 yada. I don't speak for all of Texas. I know Governor Abbott says that you're welcome. Bring it. Because he's just going to run a campaign saying that Beto Relic is funded by George Soros and now New Yorkers want to tell you how to vote. He says bring it. I say you're more than welcome to come to Texas. My only request is that you go to McAllen. You go to Eagle Pass. You go to all the other cities on the borders. Come visit the issue that we're seeing, that we're experiencing. But you won't. You'll go to Austin, San Antonio, Houston, Dallas, and campaign there because you're a chicken shit mayor from New York. That's right. You're a chicken shit mayor of New York. You won't see the issue on the border. You just want to complain because we're sending you migrants. Well, this video has gone long enough. 
think you get the point. I will admit that I am very biased when it comes to illegal immigration. I think we should be sending these people back to Mexico and make Mexico deal with it. And Mexico could deal with it however they want, whether it's to send them back to their to the original countries or to the southern country of Mexico. But what right now what we're witnessing is an invasion of illegal immigration to the likes that we will never get under control that will keep the debate going for ages. It's going to be a generational thing that we won't be able to fix a one or two generation because of Biden's administration, what he's doing. You thought immigration was bad before? This just multiplies it, but I could go on. I could complain more and more, but I, you get the point that I'm making, hopefully. Leave a comment down below. Do you agree with me that no state should be dealing with illegal immigration? Whether it's New York, Washington, Ohio, or Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, or California. Do you agree with me that Joe Biden needs to close the border when it comes to illegal immigration? Or do you disagree and tell me why? Am I a bigot and a racist? Should I keep get my privilege in check? Let me know down below. While you're at it, smash the like and subscribe button on any of all platforms or just the platform that you're currently watching. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.